Allegations of sexual harassment, recruiting employees to spy on colleagues in confidential settlements, and that latest now from Forbes magazine, John Schnatter denying the story's details. UofL Board of Trustees also holding its very first meeting today without John Schnatter there, stepping down from the board and the university stripping the Papa John's name from the football stadium. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams joins us now with a look at what happened today. Chris? UofL President Dr. Neely Benaputi told us that there have been no conversations between the school and the pizza company, although they do expect their general counsels to speak at some point. There have been questions about whether or if the university may try to get another stadium sponsorship deal, but President Benaputi dismissed that, insisting that the focus is on opening night against Alabama. The meeting today did not focus on the John Schnatter controversy. Instead, Chairman David Grissom was reelected to his role to lead the trustees, and there was other business. There was also a call for nominations to two open seats on the school's governing body. And for the first time, we had a chance to ask Athletics Director Vince Tyree about fallout and whether social media played a role in the stadium name change. When the initial story broke, some athletes tweeted their feelings about not wanting to play at a Papa John Stadium. Oh, I don't. I think it goes into account, but I think we had our own view of things. I certainly, when I talked to Bobby early Thursday morning, you know, I'd already spoken to, to John and, and tweets and that were coming out. I just asked him to, uh, to not make the players delete them, to let the tweets set out there if they want to sit out there, let them speak their own mind, but just to make sure the players, uh, you know, showed enough faith in the administration that we were going to take care of things. So. And this afternoon, UFL football coach Bobby Petrino told a reporter at the Courier Journal that his first reaction to the players' tweets was to tell them to, quote, chill out. He added that he understood where the players were coming from, but he wanted them to speak with their teammates before commenting so that the story of the day did not become about their social media posts. Vince Tyree also told me that while he had shown Schnatter a project taking place at the baseball stadium, there was never an ask for donations. He feels the pizza mogul would have taken part, but Tyree added that the project did not revolve around his donation. I asked whether he could envision a time when Schnatter is involved again in donations to the athletics department, and the AD said it's just too soon to think about. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.